Hello everyone, my name is Nick, aka Start Now, and this is actually going to be the last heroic uh, for the Curse of Nex Ramus because I already did Kel'Thuzad, I actually beat him first. Saffron actually ended up being a lot harder, but that was just because I was being really stubborn. Once a noble blue dragon within the mountains of Northrend, Saffron was slain by Arthas during his campaign through the Frozen North. This was during uh, Frozen Throne, I believe. Resurrected to serve him, Saffron guards Kel'Thuzad's lair eternally, awaiting those who would dare trespass upon his master. Alright, finally. Saffron is going down, I hope. But, um... Rexa yeah. versus Saffron! Let the hunt begin! Uh, we're gonna get rid of multi shot, we're gonna get rid of unleash, we don't need those first. Um, so, I was being really stubborn with this boss, and I was trying to beat him without an eagle horn bow, but that's retarded. <laughs> so, uh, we, we've gotten one bow, and uh, we're gonna try it this time. Um, the reason why I kept the explosive trap is because explosive trap is gonna be very useful early on, because early on he, th show he throws out a lot of minions that have two or one health, so we can immediately get rid of those cards. Like the fairy dragon, which is about to attack and get absolutely wrecked by our explosive trap. Yeah, this boss is, I mean, it's, it's just a normal fight where his hero power just board clears. Like, that's it. That's the whole deal behind this boss. And he's got all right cards. He has a ton of uh, spectral knights. I think I think he's got at least three spectral knights. Um, two or three of those dudes, the, those, those guys that uh, kill whatever's next to them, but they have six health, so they're kind of a pain. Especially if you didn't get to snipe them with snipe. But uh, right now we're just waiting on our eagle horn bow, <laughs> and we still don't have it, which sucks. It sucks so much. So we're probably—I mean, don't be afraid to use explosive. Is that? Well, that was an explosive. That was uh, another spell <laughs> that I don't know of, but I'm sure you guys know it. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to use that—that that five damage deal two to the Jason cards uh, and just hit face. We want to do as much damage as we can, right? So, I mean, I have, uh, in this deck, I believe it's just, you know, the, it, it's a deck that's been thrown up on the forums a lot as the hunter deck to use, um, but mine, I only have one Eaglehorn bow, so unfortunately I could only put one in this deck. And... I replaced the other one with a Wolf Rider, because it's just, why not do three more damage, right? Um, we've yet to get it, we've yet to get the bow, and we have two Starving Buzzards, which is not what we want to hold, unfortunately. But we're doing okay. Ooh, that is a perfect card for us to snipe. In fact, I think he's got two Dancing Swords, and, and we want to be sniping those out, right? And it, <laughs> there's the second one. Lovely. Um, oh my gosh. Yes, we got two cards this round. This is great. Um, so that's a bit of luck that we got there. But deadly shot is not what we want. There's our wolf rider, which we're just gonna... It's, it's just three more damage. Right, if you've got another eagle horn bow, use the eagle horn bow. We want two of them, because we, we would be absolutely wrecking it. Wreck, wrecking. Wrecking? We would be wrecking him right now if we had had our eagle horn bow at turn three, right? Because you just you just keep playing secrets, and oh gosh, I hate that attack. I have died so many times to that attack. But there's our eagle horn bow, so we're gonna immediately play that so that once our secrets proc, we can, uh, we can begin attacking using our weapon. Again, don't be afraid to use a uh, deadly shot. You want this board to be clear so that when he summons stuff, they can't. You're not receiving any damage. You're pretty much prolonging the battle, right? And this is actually a really good situation to be in. Um, 
Alright, we're probably gonna throw out the snipe just because he's gonna summon something annoying. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna attack him. Um, we're probably going to. Hopefully, we snipe something good. Yes! Look at that. Sniping out those 4 4s is wonderful. That is a beautiful thing. I believe our other. Our other trap is a freezing trap. So unfortunately frostbolt means that we can't attack next, but there's the freezing trap. We're gonna bring that back. That's uh not great because he can always summon out again and get another card, right? And that is another advantage you can pull is try and make him run out of cards. But this situation is looking pretty good. Good. We're just looking for Unleash the Hounds now, really. That's all we want right now is some Unleash the Hounds. He's busy frost blasting nothing. Here comes the Azure Drake. The six mana Azure Drake. A loot hoarder. It's not bad. And there it is. There it is, our Unleash the Hounds. This is actually a perfect time for it. Right? Hold up. Should we use two two buzzards? I don't think that's necessary, right? Two plus two is four, seven, ten. So we wouldn't be able to use Timberwolf, which uh I'm not liking that. I, I I think one buzzard is enough. I mean two buzzards is six cards. We're gonna overload our hand and, and we can't really survive another two two four eight eight damage uh, if he's got a frost blast he c or frost bolt he kills us so I'm thinking just one buzzard unleash the hounds timber wolf I mean we're gonna get four cards that's that's pretty good plus then we add the kill command on top of that here we go think this works. Alright, hopefully we get it. Ah, there it is. Second Timber Timberwolf. I, I think that that's a win. Alright, so put in the Timberwolves. Then that's three damage each. Which means 12. And then we have three mana left. Perfect for kill command. Alright, we win. So that is Saphiron. Uh, I know he's causing a lot of trouble. For some people, but hopefully this helps. Uh, and if you've got the second eagle horn bow, use it, please. It makes this this battle so much easier. And there is the next Ramus card back that you get after you beat all the heroics. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Um, sadly, I ended off not on the last boss, but uh, that video I think is already up. And yeah. And that is it. That is the next Ramus. Um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe and like the video to contribute to this channel. And uh, yeah, keep it real, guys. Till next time.